boxing keeps delivering the fights that we want to see okay now whether they turn out to be uh classic competitive fights is another thing i could have bought a bottle of whiskey behind this one good good whiskey blanton's single barrel that was where my 80 dollars went <laughs> I, did, I didn't say that all of them were competitive because we know bud versus spence wasn't the competitive dog fight we thought it was going to be okay yeah. and i think some may say i don't know if some had charlo beating canelo but i think Ooh. given given charlo's height he's been he's an undisputed champ himself he had the reach advantage at least right based on what i'm looking at okay it was 73 inches to 71 inches okay so both thought okay maybe he can get him yeah. okay yeah that was not the case. No, it wasn't. Old Saul came in there and dominated. So we're going to talk about it, okay? We're going to talk about it. Before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button now, okay? I am your homeboy first. That's my brother, Tim G. Jacob, the honorable one, okay? And this is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Yeah, man. Put it on some, okay? Yes, sir. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Share, share, share. Put all your people on, okay? T, talk to us, man. What were your takeaways from this fight? And, and, and why should you have bought some good brown instead of buy the fight? That that man, that man Canelo, he looks different. Mm. He looked different in this fight. Mm. Now, mind you, I haven't watched him in a while. I'm trying to remember the last one I watched him. Might have been Triple G. Okay. One of those triple G fights. And and Canelo, you could tell, because he's he's fought a lot of amateur fights. You right. know that that's that's the story of his career. He fought a lot of amateur fights. He's fought a lot of fights just in general. And so, very very seasoned. And I think he, the layoff he had after I believe it was Bival, I think it was that he lost that fight against uh, Dimitri Bival. Yeah, um, he lost that in May of twenty twenty two. Yeah, so. He needed, to, he needed a minute to refresh. He looks fresh. Now. Now, since then, he's beaten Triple G, <clears throat> John Ryder. After, after, after Bivol? Mm -hmm. He beat Triple G okay. in, a, in a unanimous decision, beat Ryder okay. in the UD, and now Charlo. Okay. Maybe that's because I just didn't really care about those fights. So I might have seen two. Might have seen him, him against Triple G, the second one. But here's what I will say. Looks a lot fresh. Looks revitalized. Um, still got a lot left in the tank. Um, he's dangerous at 168. Um, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to really be ready to fight him at 168. Now, the name that they're they're chiming out right now is David Benavidez. I like to see that. I think I've seen a couple of his fights. He he's he can give he can give Canelo all he wants. I don't know if he's ready for, for this Canelo. Per se, because this Canelo looked great. Counter game was on point. He just neutralized Charlo and everything that I guess Charlo attempted to do. He made Charlo feel his power. Um, Charlo just could not get off. There was like a there was a round or two where Charlo kind of opened his hands up a little bit and, and tried to deliver some good shots and and uh Canelo ate him and just kept doing what Canelo does, cut the ring off, slide, step. Beat, beat the heck out of your elbows, beat the heck out of your body, then 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 just start setting you up with them one twos, and it just got to the point where it was just like out point, out box, out counter, out everything. I mean, it was just it was clear cut. I mean, the cards even said it. I think I think I sent you what one nineteen one oh eight. Uh, I got it right here. Two cards. Max DeLuca, one eighteen one oh nine. David Sutherland. 118 109. Steve Weisfield, 119 108. Mm -hmm. So basically, basically, what the judges did was they they listened, they watched this fight by sound. They didn't watch it, they didn't use their eyes. They just was like this. Mm, mm, that sounded like Canelo. Mm. <laughs> mm. That right hand was heavy. That right hand was heavy, man. Yeah, he was loading up on that man. And, and again, to Charlo's credit, 
all all jokes aside, Charlo moved up two classes. He went from 154 to 168, take this fight. His brother, as I'm told, is the natural bigger body. Could have took this fight, but his brother's is ha- J- 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 Jamal. Jamal. Yeah, he's he, he's Jamal. He's Jamal. So Jamal, mm-hmm. you know, has had some, some personal things going on that's preventing him from kind of getting in the ring and, you know, displaying his greatness. But um, I think from here, the question begs, do we get Bud and Charlo? Do we get Benavidez and Canelo? Um, what happens from here? I mean, I know we're already going to get Spence Crawford too, so that's that's going to happen. We're going to get used Check and Fury in the fall. That's another. Yeah, one. Oh, I apologize, America. I forgot to announce that to you. I'm glad my brother told you we are getting that. We're going to get Spencer Crawford again at 154. That, right? That's all the stuff in there. Because I at first I thought it was going to be 154, but then one this one uh, account I was looking at act like Bud saying no. We might have to just do because he hold the cards with it mm-hmm. since he won. Mm-hmm. So I, I I don't know. I don't know what them boys gonna do. We'll see. But we'll but see. with Charlo T, why with his big ass frame at five eleven, it would seem to me that carrying around that weight should be okay for him. So yeah, like he probably walk around at like a five eleven one sixty. He. He, to be honest, to be honest with you, it just has to do with the skill level. And fighting a guy like Canelo, you know, and uh, I think he had a surgically repaired wrist. I think Canelo did. Canelo's had some stuff done. He's got his body back. I mean, Canelo looked. You asked me like size wise, you know, like who? How, and I said, I said at first, I said Canelo by a little bit. I think that's what I sent you. But then when I got to looking looking at Canelo for real, for real, like in terms of girth and like 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 Canelo is chiseled out, solid, solid yeah. steel plate. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that ain't he ain't scrap iron. He's show sure enough fortified. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, this brother. And he and 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 you can tell, man. Let's just listening to him in the in the post fight. And Canelo was like, nobody can beat me. This Canelo, no one can beat me. Well, when he gonna get some uh get back on old Dimitri uh Bivel? Well, when he gonna I get some know. get back from him? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a that's a very good question. But I will say this because that was that was a fight at what light heavy, super light heavy, super light heavy, or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't know if he'll I don't know if he might walk that he, he might he went, walk that line. He went too far up in his opinion, probably. May have. May have did what Charlo did. But I will say this. Now I don't know. I'll tell you that I, I don't know. If that Canelo I saw last night fights Bival again, I don't see I don't see Bival stand a chance. I don't see it. I think he caught Canelo at the right time, based on what I read and heard, you know. Canelo's body wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe it was that whole deal with the zone and 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 all that. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, like you know, all the fight, the deals, and all that type of stuff, just obligating himself. Like, like notice, you don't even see Canelo on TV like you did at one time when he was doing the Under Armour and he had all those different things. Like Canelo's a brand. He was starting to roll, yeah, yeah. But it, but then you know you started to see him more on TV, and it seemed like maybe. He got away a little bit from boxing, just a little bit. But this well, brother, I, I think, for the luster of him, he had the one loss, but the one loss was to Floyd Mayweather Jr. So I think a lot of folks could be like, "Okay, cool," mm-hmm. but nobody else gonna beat you. So then mm-hmm. you lose to to Bivol, and oh, folks yeah. like, "Hold on, you, you supposed to be?" Because some people, and some people still saying that he's the greatest Mexican fighter ever. I've heard motherfuckers starting to say that. Like, if, if you if you go to some of the YouTube boxing joints, folks are starting to float that, and, and they have every right to. They have every right to. Now, I, yeah. I get it. I know Mexico got a lot of balls. Four, four, four belt champ. I get it. I get it. He got all the belts. I got it. But man, I tell you, that Canelo needs to fight Benavidez right now. 
If he beats that Benavidez kid, we get that in 24. He beats that kid. And, and, and let's just say he moves up, dominates Bival. In the space that he's in, his frame of mind, his mentality right now, Canelo is on some 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 assassin shit. Like mm -hmm. anybody in front of me, I'm taking them out. And mm -hmm. I love to see that guy. You know, because at first it was Canelo was the the young talent, great everything. He won once after the Mayweather. He won. He dominated. Then it became the brand. Because remember now, I think some people felt like Golovkin won one of those, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I think it ended up being a draw. I think that was the one we yeah, watched. Yeah, that's the that's the, the first match. First that was a draw. Yeah, that was a draw. Mm -hmm. So you know. It's like the lust to come off Canelo a little bit. But now, I think this dude will just go ahead. And oh, and um, I hate to cut, cut y'all. But e even that second fight, you had one card even. Okay. The second fight, Glenn Feldman had it even. Okay. And then the other two cards were 115, 113. Okay. So that's so what I'm saying. Finally, so, right. he got a definitive one, I think. Yeah, I think and... three was definitive. Shit, but three were close too, though. Three. Two cars had that 115, 113. Really? And then one one car had 116, 112. I watched the second. Must have been two I watched. I know we watched the first one. I want to say I've seen two. But yeah, him and Golovkin, they got it in. But you know, that's what I'm saying. So could you call him the greatest middleweight ever? I don't know. You know, you oh, I, no, not middleweight. I think they were saying Mexican. But yeah, yeah, I'm no, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying at this point right now, Canelo has a chance. To be put there in that space, you know, when you go to talking middleweights, Ward wasn't Sugar Ray Robinson a middleweight though. <laughs> we, we, we well, I mean, but you know, I mean, it depends on how deep you want to get with it. Okay, you want to go modern day, you want to go oh, okay. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but 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 I'm just saying though, this guy is in a great space. This dude is in a different different lane, in my opinion. See this damn Benavidez. Benavidez is a problem. Twenty six years old. Yo, so he younger. Yo, but this, this some bitch six two. But this is what I will say. This six. is why Canelo and his and his camp needs to make this fight. Is to do the same thing. Granted, he don't have the O, but to do the same thing that Mayweather did for him. Are you sure? About Give me? this kid a boxing lesson. T. Yes. This boy six two. Canelo yeah. five eight. Mm -hmm. This boy got a seventy four inch reach. Canelo got a 70 injury. 70 Canelo, Canelo told me last night, ain't nobody beating this Canelo. Oh, and this boy got a 74 and a half injury. Let me not, let me not fuck over this boy. Canelo told me last night, ain't nobody what say? What he say to you? beating this Canelo. All I got to say is Canelo. I'll watch it. Back that thing up. Back it up. I'll watch it. Back it all up then. Canelo a bad boy now. He look good now. He look good. He look good, good. Maybe he can get his he kid did. a boxing lesson. He did. He was loading up on some shots. And I and, and I was seeing clips from his training camp where he would be hitting that heavy, hitting that heavy bag and shit like that. And then he treated Charlo like the bag. Like oh, when he was hitting the bag, you know, he'll hit them light shots, light, and then boom. Da, da, da. Yep. And that's how the fuck he would do it. So it sounded like that's why I'm telling you the judges' eyes was closed. Yeah, they was all because they were like, we don't know we're gonna score this. Mm. And chopping them right hands were chopping. Man. And when he when when Charlo took that knee, it like he get that chopping right, caught him right. And he had to get you know, let me let me pause for a second, goddamn. Mm -hmm. Let me pause for a second. That's right. Uh uh, okay. Right. Let's look at Charlo real quick before we close. I know from a financial standpoint, it was smart of him to call out Bud right after the fight. From a financial standpoint, like I like I told you last night, I'm sure his accountant is happy about that. His accountant mm -hmm. would love to see that. Mm -hmm. But from a boxing standpoint, given the fact that basically he got outclassed by Canelo, and most people think that Bud is a better, more brilliant fighter than even Canelo is. 
He he Carlo stand a chance against him then? I, no. No, but it's smart to say this is the fight I want. This is this is it's smart to say to keep your name relevant. Mm -hmm. And again, at 154, that that we we got we got to find out. Mm -hmm. Right? But either it's gonna add to Buzz legacy or Charlo gets to supplant his name in the mix and say I'm the guy that did it. I'm the guy that took the O from Crawford. So, but it's smart for him to say that. And they got smoke. So it'll be great. It's already being built up. It, it's already being built up. Right so after the really shit ENT. Mm -hmm. Their boy Terrence Crawford tweets out. Mm -hmm. At Twin Charlo, you went out sad. Mm -hmm. Didn't even try to win. Mm -hmm. All you did was try to survive. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And it's and it's coming from a man. Look, Crawford had on them special jewels last night. He had on yeah, that man shirt and them dang jewels. Hey, them them things was brilliant. That's what happened when you finally, finally get that brilliant. big old payday. That's that, what that lets you know that that's a man that's got all the belts because his diamonds was just brilliant. You know what I'm saying? Just just different. He feeling himself right. He now. put colors on and everything. He he dark dark. That like me putting on blue and pink. That might be me put, look, putting on a pink fur like Cameron running around here. Yeah, you finna show out in your 40s. Don't worry about it. I'm gas. Yeah. I'm finna gas my brother up. All his 40s, okay? Yeah. I'm just, just let it be known. Here you go. Here okay? You go. If y'all want to see a spectacle, wait till my brother's 40th birthday Somebody party. birthday coming up soon. But it ain't the 40th, though. Don't I got matter. I got 39 you got loads. You got okay? a lot. You got, a, you, got a, you got another year living on your belt. I got That's true. Yes, you up, too. You know, and you know my gas in history. Yo, the gas in history is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that right there. <laughs> gas is dangerous. All right, but uh, America, y'all chime in, man. Fight fans around the world, real one. <laughs> hey, we get, we get, we having some good shit right now. We're in mm, a good space. Boxing ain't dead. Okay? Please keep it going. We boxing. ain't just gotta rely on celebrity boxing. Okay, boxing ain't dead. Okay, so <laughs> chime in, tell us what y'all thought about Canelo. Dominating Charlo, I right? put it on something. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.